I want this video to be a simple, clear message to those that are working at Activision, to those that are working at Microsoft, whoever is in charge with this game, this video is for you to listen. And I hope you take the time out of your day. I know you got a lot of time to go make some more operator skins. I know you got more algorithms to make to make sure that the matchmaking is perfect within the Call of Duty multiplayer gameplay experience. But I want you to take some time. Put your AirPods in, put a headset on, whatever the case may be if you're on your lunch break, and I want you to listen to the Rick. A lot of people ask me, why do I make videos shit talking about Call of Duty? A lot of people ask me, why do I even make videos about Call of Duty? The game is dead, the game is this, the game is that. There's an easy answer for these questions. I grew up on this game. A lot of you guys might not know my story, might not know my background, but Nine years old, I remember the day I walked into that GameStop. Yes, I was around during the days where you had to actually go into the store, buy the game, whether you pre-ordered it or not, and you took the game home, you opened it up, and you put the disc in the console. But I still remember the first game I ever played within Call of Duty. It was on Afghan. Team Deathmatch didn't know what I was doing. Level 1. Had a little kid on the mic and a bunch of these grown people saying some words I never even understood at that time. I was 9 years old. But I fell in love with the game the first time I ever played it. I remember waking up before school, 5, 6 a.m. just so I can play the game because I loved it that much. And it seemed like every single year after Modern Warfare 2, the games just kept getting better and better. There were some things you disliked about the games but not like it is today everything was just awesome it was the best experience coming home from school playing with your friends talking shit to other enemies playing with the same people not worrying about having to get a no whole other match set up because of skill based matchmaking you actually love the dlcs that came out because they brought out the new maps brought out this brought out that it was it was just exciting time but then we get to today in the past five years, I don't know what changed. I don't know what went down in the Activision conference room. I don't know what went down during the, con the, the emails within the company. I have no idea, but the past five years have been different. I am still like a little kid when I get in this room. When I get on my PC, when I pick up that controller, I am still like a little kid in love with playing video games. I don't care how old I'm going to get. Yes, I'm not going to be able to play them as much. I'm not going to have the free time, but I want to be able to still play games because it relaxes me and it allows me to have my my own time my own free time it, it's just it's just fun i don't know everybody that plays games they understand it but the gaming the gameplay the call of duty lifestyle is not even close to what it used to be and i'm just reaching out to activision to just try to understand why they're changing this is it the new people at the workplace is it the people that have never even played the game i have been in so many lobbies with so many activision devs so many sledgehammer games devs so many freaking infinity war devs doesn't matter who it is they got that little cool clan tag for some reason they love to run around with but they're absolute dog shit at the game now, I'm not saying they have to be very good, but I'm just saying, like, if you're going to make these, these decisions within the game, shouldn't you actually be kind of good? Because we all know who you're trying to cater to. It's people like you who fucking suck. That's why we have riot shields. That's why I have one pump shotguns. That's why you have snipers or games or maps that allow snipers to camp like baby back bitches. But I just... I my, my message to Activision is as clear as it can get. Can we try to go back to the old days? Can we think of the stuff that made the old days better? I can list off so many things as to how to save this game, and it takes literally probably five minutes to do. Let's start with number one, and it's the most simple thing that we couldn't even talk about. Skill-based matchmaking, disbanding lobbies, EOMM, whatever the case may be, has to get completely wiped from the game. Take it out. Put it into where the connection is all that matters because we all know damn well the servers right now are terrible. But if you do it based off of a certain matchmaking playstyle or algorithm, that's when we're going to get even more connection issues. Get that completely out of the game. Let people be able to have friends, enemies, whatever the case may be. Allow them to stay in a match that they like. Allow them to leave if they want to with reason and let them play the game with a natural gaming experience. Simple, easy shit. Number two, take away the combat bullshit. Take away the shadow ban. Take away all of it. I get it. It's 2024. I get everybody is woke. It's complete fuck. But you need to understand that there are certain things that when I call somebody a baby back bitch and I get combat for it, that just makes everybody not even want to play the game or even talk. Back in the day, everybody had a mic. Everybody had it on. Everybody talked. And that made it more exciting, more interactive. Therefore, you didn't get bored. There was something new, somebody new to talk to, somebody new to talk shit to, whatever the case may be. 
movie, it made it more exciting. And then going on the reporting system, take away the shadow ban because just because somebody gets shit on and they spam report me, I shouldn't get shadow banned. Just because a whole team of six that got fucking shat on by the Rick and they spam report me doesn't mean I should be shadow banned. Get rid of that, get an anti-cheat that actually works, okay? That's number three. Get an anti-cheat that actually works and get all these baby bag bitches out the fucking game. If you cheat and you're watching this, you're a real weirdo. I really need you to go look in the mirror right now, figure out why you're ugly as fuck and why you're dumb as fuck. That's two things you need to figure it out. Write it down, why, send it to me via email. My email's in my description, figure it out. That's number three, but number four and last and final thing, stop being woke. It kind of goes into everything. Stop being woke. Stop trying to protect everybody. It is the real world. I don't give a fuck if it's just a video game. The real world and the problem with everything that why everything's going downhill is because everybody needs to be protected. Everybody needs to be protected based off of words, based off of this, based off of that. Figure it the fuck out. When you get out of your dad's basement and you actually go in the real world and get a real job, you're going to have to figure it out real quick. You're going to have to be able to stand up for yourself, pay your own bills, do this, do that, just so you can survive. Some people are going to talk shit to you in real life. Are you going to say, oh, I'm a fucking report you. Dude. Shut the fuck up and get out of this game, weird ass fuck. Stop being woke. Woke goes broke. If you go woke, you go broke. We've seen that many times with all these companies. And what is happening with Activision? What is going on right now? We are sick and tired of it. It is not Call of Duty like we used to. And it's, that's why I continue to keep pushing this shit out because I want it to become great again. I love this game. I love this franchise. I love everything that it used to stand for. But right now we are seeing a big decline. It's got it's gone up since Mario Warfare 2. From last year's Mario Warfare 2, it's obviously gone up. I enjoyed it a lot more than last year's game. But it's a still the same basic shit that everybody hates. It's the same stuff that we continue to fucking bitch about that they don't care to fix. Activision. It is not difficult. I hope that you took this message very clearly. I hope you took this message as easy as you could. But everybody that is watching this video, hit that like button if you want this game to be great. Hit that like button if you want Activision to go back to how it used to be. If you need to hire people that actually care about the game, go ahead and do that. If you need to hire people to make decisions, aka the Rick himself, I will be able to help you out with that. These changes are as simple as wiping your own ass. It's not hard unless you're Joe Biden. It is very simple shit, and I hope one day we can figure it out. I hope one day we can see this game go back up again, back to the top. Although it is still exciting to watch like the CDL tournament that we just saw. Playing the game in general is still very rough because we have the same issues year in, year out, and it is just nothing's being done about it. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys would do. Give me five reasons or five things you would change from number one being the n most important and number five being the least. What you would do to make this game great again. What you would do to tell Activision to make the game great. Whatever the case may be, I would love to hear it in the comment section below. Other than that, man, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Peace.